buildings are a major way that people interact with the environment. Uh, everyone knows that they provide shelter from the elements and help keep you warm, but architecture takes that a lot farther and helps create spaces that improve people's emotional well-being as well as their physical well-being. I'm Tim Guillot uh, with Esterly Schneider & Associates. And I am Tom Lundberg and I'm a partner at Esterly Schneider & Associates. Architecture is a, um, for us it's a mix of art and science and technology and the combination of all things that helps create environments that uh, can help help with certain different situations. Uh, when we're working on medical facilities, one of the most important things that we look at is uh, how the patients feel and if they're in a high stress environment, if they're in a high stress situation, uh, trying to make sure that we design the space, the lighting, how people interact with the space, that they know where they need to go when they walk in, we don't make their stress worse. One of our recent projects, the Waynesville Medical Clinic, uh, was designed specifically around those types of ideas uh, with making sure that uh, when you're driving down 44 you can see it so uh, the patients know where they're going. Um, and it was designed in a way so it looks like a professional building, a medical building, a place where people uh, need to get to uh, with a you know a big sign up front that says here's where the clinic is. There's a ton of glass in the building so that it's you know a lot of natural light uh, in, in trying to get it as deep in the building as possible so that when the patients are there they've got light no matter where in the facility they are. Civic and community buildings are a, a, a very common building type that has a major effect on people's lives and their emotional well-being. Uh, one, of our, one of our projects that we really enjoyed working on was the boathouse at Lake Springfield. And that was a situation where the, the design of the building complemented its surroundings. The, the whole point of the building was to be in a park setting and enjoy the lake. So the building was designed with, with lots of glass and uh, made you feel like you're experiencing nature even if you're inside the building uh, in a meeting or having some community event. Even the smallest of details in this project enhance the, the user's experience. For example, the, the guardrails on the exterior of the building. If you're at the lake looking back, you see that kind of sparkle and kind of reflects the, the water and how that shines. And using it from the opposite side that was designed in such a way that it, it doesn't obstruct the view from the building out to the water. One of the things that we do when we're designing uh, retail and commercial buildings is, is making sure that the space itself is safe. In the past, a lot of the products that were used um, carpet, paint, wall covering, um, different types of basically chemicals. All these things gave off gases and basically polluting the workspace. Nowadays we're really conscious about that. We make sure, and these are things you don't see, that we're using uh, paints that are low in those toxic chemicals, uh, making sure we're using high quality carpet that's low. Same with um, low in those toxic chemicals and just making sure that when you walk into the space from the very beginning uh, that it's already clean and safe and healthy. That's one of the things we really pride ourselves on is that we like to get involved as early in the planning process as possible. Uh, it's never too early to, to come to an architect and help with site selection to make sure that that, that, that site will most effectively meet the needs of the, the building that you may want to build. We like to get involved and work with the client throughout the entire process and always always listening to the needs and determining based on what they, what they believe they need, what the best solution is, and keeping that within their budget.